Good evening. A very big night of breaking news, whether it's the sudden departure of White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders or the government's own legal watchdog calling for the firing of a top advisor to the president for what it calls multiple violations of the law by Kellyanne Conway. We begin, though, keeping them honest, with a page on the FBI's website, which is especially relevant tonight, given what President Trump said today. Once again, inviting foreign interference in American elections. Once again, casting doubts on the FBI. The president of the United States all but telling foreign adversaries that as long as it benefits him, it's open season on the 2020 election because he's never reached out to the FBI to report anything, even with all the unsavory characters he must have done business with over the years. And he's not about to start now. The web page is titled, When to Contact the FBI, and it provides a long list of suspicious items to get in touch with the Bureau about, including, and I'm quoting here, suspicious activities that you believe threaten national security, especially suspicious activities that involve foreign powers or foreign organizations. It is, without a doubt, serious stuff, though you wouldn't know it listening to our president, the same man who hired all the people now in charge of national security, including the director of the FBI, who's responsible for protecting the country from foreign interference, and who has warned repeatedly that the Russians are already hard at work trying to undermine U.S. elections. In other words, even if it never occurred to him back then that foreign interference is wrong, he's now had more than two years to learn otherwise. Keep him honest, though. Listen again to what the president told ABC's George Stephanopoulos for the interview that aired last night and decide for yourself the lessons he drew. Okay, let's put yourself in a position. You're a congressman. Somebody comes up and says, hey, I have information on your opponent. Do you call the FBI? I if don't it's think coming from I'll Russia, tell you, what, you do. I've seen a lot of things over my life. I don't think in my whole life I've ever called the FBI. In my whole life. I don't you don't call the FBI. You throw somebody out of your office, you do whatever Al you Al Gore got a stolen briefing book, he called the FBI. Well, that's different, a stolen briefing book. This isn't this is somebody that said, We have information on your opponent. Oh, let me call the FBI. Give me a break. Life doesn't the work. The FBI that way. director says that's what should happen. The FBI director is wrong. The FBI director, he says, his hand-picked FBI director, is wrong for saying this. My view is that if any public official or member of any campaign is contacted by any nation state uh, or anybody acting on behalf of a nation state uh, about influencing or interfering with our election, then that's something that the FBI would want to know about. So, got it? That guy's boss says he's wrong. Today, with the boss's words still echoing across Washington, the boss showed no signs of regret, tweeting, I meet, I meet and talk to foreign governments every day. I just met with the Queen of England, UK, the Prince of Wales, the PM, the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, the Prime Minister of Ireland, the President of France, and the President of Poland. We talked about everything. Should I immediately call the FBI about these calls and meetings? How ridiculous. I would never be trusted again. Just on a purely factual, ba factual basis. Let's just think about what he just said. That argument, just on a purely factual basis, is ridiculous. For starters, it's not like the Queen of England or the Prince of Wales or anyone on that list are adversaries with an interest in sowing chaos and dissension in this country. The Queen of England isn't selling her jewels to fund a massive disinformation campaign to affect our election. The Queen of England isn't trying to figure out who in the Trump campaign she can meet with and potentially co-opt nor is the Queen of England over tea whispering to the president, I have dirt on Bernie Sanders and it's snogging good. I don't know if snogging is actually a term. Remember, Russia, the country he invited to hack in 2016 and says he might not drop a dime on this time, is trying to influence our politics. Prince Charles didn't approach Downey Jr. with offers of Kremlin gathered information or disinformation that his son so eagerly anticipated. Russia did. The Prime Minister of Poland didn't offer to set up a secret communication channel with the President's son-in-law at the Polish embassy. That was the Russian embassy and the Russians. And yeah, the President and the people around him lied their heads off about all of it instead of calling the FBI. So the next beat to all of this today was, as it always is, what is anyone from the President's own party going to say about this? And on this one, maybe indicating the gravity of what the President said, some Republicans, some actually spoke out against him. If a foreign government comes to you as a uh, public official and offers to help your campaign, giving you anything of value, whether it be money or information on your opponent, the, the right answer is no. In circumstances where a foreign government attempts to be involved in an American election, that would be simply unthinkable for a candidate for president to accept that involvement 
to encourage it to participate with it in any way, shape, or form. It would strike at the very heart of our democracy. Senator Joni Ernst said she'd definitely alert authorities of approach. Senator James Langford said he was surprised the president would not immediately do that, although it's hard to see why. Tom Tillis and Cory Gardner both said they'd call the FBI. So there are a few. However, they are in the minority, even after what the president said yesterday. And today, Senate Republicans today blocked legislation that would force campaigns to notify the Federal Election Commission and FBI about attempts by foreign nationals to influence an election. Oh, and over on the House side, Republican Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy turned the gaslight up to 11. I've watched this president. I've listened to this president. He does not want foreign governments interfering in our election, and he's been very strong about that. Really? Very strong. That's a term a lot of people use around the president. I know he likes the word strong, but how many televised addresses has the president given warning of foreign interference and outlining his plans to stop it? How many cabinet meetings has he held about this? How many times has he even tweeted about Russia interfering without suggesting maybe it wasn't Russia and maybe it didn't happen? And how many times has he undercut his own intelligence officials while siding with Vladimir Putin? I guess McCarthy is right when he says that President Trump has been very strong on foreign governments interfering in our elections. The problem is he's been and continues to be very strongly in favor of it.